Fourth sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is actually one of the most, if not all, of the cups in the suite. Very optimistic. Good card to see. Yeah, now this one it actually comes with messages. And these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups it tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Good news, particularly when it comes to matters of the heart. It's coming in. It's coming toward you. Now, so this Three of Cups, it's often considered about a card of reunion, the Three of Cups, the card that's below the word pass. Now, it's reunion in the broadest sense. It could be like running back into someone or meeting up with someone that you've been away from for some time now. This is considered to be a very, very happy reunion. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. So basically, the recent past energy between you and your person, Leo, Knight of Cups, clarified by this Three of Cups. So what I'm getting for some of you is that it looks like there was a, a reunion or someone made a return. Yeah, you got back together with someone. Um, maybe you, you broke it off with and then they came back. Yeah, this Three of Cups, it can mean a reunion with a long-lost love. So, basically, someone came back. Someone wanted back in or maybe you reached out to them and you wanted back in. And it looks like because the Knight of Cups is here, your person, they, yeah, they were very excited. They came rushing in, being very romantic and sensitive. And the two of you rejoiced. There was happiness. There was, it felt like a friendship. It felt like a circle of support. Very, very happy come together. Very, very happy reunion. Very, very happy uh, celebration. Both of these are happy cards. The person rushed in to sweep you off your feet. They were glad to hear from you. You two looked up. You got back together. So that's the reason for synergy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got this Knight of Pentacles and it's with the Two of Swords. Now the, the Knight of Pentacles. Well, this is a very good card. Yeah, it's a good card. I like the Knight of Pentacles because it's a very slow, steady, stable type of energy. Stability. We like that, don't we? Yeah. It indicates that um, this person could be ready for a serious relationship, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, or you could find someone who's ready to, prov to provide you with security, with support that you want and need. Yeah, the relationship means your commitment is solid when you get the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I like it. It's a very slow, steady, stable type of energy. Could be a really good father, this Knight of Pentacles. Very practical, patient, protective. Knight in shining armor. Yeah, that's what the Knight of Pentacles is. So, it's with the Ten of Swords, though. Now, the Ten of Swords, it can be about being careful about where you put your trust when this comes up in relation, or when it comes up in relation to 
a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable? Well, it's a pretty clear answer of no if you can see the picture. He's got all these swords stabbed in his back. However, you have to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's much better for you, so trust yourself and trust the universe. So, it looks like Yeah, what I'm getting is that this person that you came back together with, like I said, it was great and fabulous and happy and joyous and celebratory and everything, just beautiful. You were excited just as much as they were. So, for some reason, your person looks like they could be coming to reach out to you as this Knight of Pentacles, wanting s stability and possibly commitment. But it's really strange because you've got this Ten of Swords, you're not really trusting that it would be stable. Yeah, you just don't feel like, you feel like it would be a flop if you two actually attempted to go long term or go for a commitment. Yeah, you don't trust that it would, it would withstand the test of time or, yeah, you feel like it would just be a flop. Maybe it was a flop before and the two of you just got back together. And that was great and fun and dandy and beautiful. But maybe you're realizing that that was all that should be or could be. Yeah, but your person that's, that came back or that's coming back, they, they gonna, they're going to want to make this solid and stable and c committed. But you, you just, mm -mm. You feel like if you guys attempted that, it would just be a big old flop. So we move on over. We take a look and see what's coming up for the challenge. King of Cups and Six of Swords. Now the King of Cups, it speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often he indicates a man in your life. Usually he represents when it's representing a live person, very, very kind and loving. Because whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in the reading, two of the very most loving energies in the deck, it's all about love, kindness, compassion. This person, this King of Cups, could have here on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe and ways seen and unseen when you get this King of Cups in a reading. Like I said, kindness, compassion. There's also an element of pure, true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get this card in a reading. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now, it's with the Six of Swords. This Six of Swords... It can indicate metaphorical movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they were in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even short breaks or a change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. Just know this does not have to cost a lot of money. So your challenge, the challenge for you is the King of Cups. And it's with the Six of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. So, what I'm getting for you Le Leos is that um, 
Yeah, like I said, your person, they, they're so happy you guys got back together. So happy. They want to keep it going. They want to turn it into something solid and stable. And here they are again. They feel that you don't trust that the connection, connection would be good. You, maybe you told them that the buck stops here. We hooked up, we got back together, we reunited, but we really need to stop it here. We don't want to, um, I don't know, maybe have a disappointment twice. Maybe have heartbreak twice. Maybe you were heartbroken by this person before. They came back to reunite. It was a great come together, but yeah. To take a chance on the heartbreak again. Some of you are feeling that way would just not be a smart move. Or for some other reason you're just not trusting that trying to take it any further would be a good idea. You're not trusting that it would be. But your person, they... No, it's like, no, 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 wait a minute. Here's my cup. They want to give you their cup of love, Leo. They want to keep this going. They want to have it start all over again. But because we got the Six of Swords with the King of Cups, it's showing that most of you are going to probably put this person in the friend zone. Yeah, you too. You just want to move into calmer waters. You're glad that you got over past hurt and disappointment with this person. Now you just feel like, let's just take this for what it is. We reunited. We made peace. Let's leave it at that. And just be happy that we are able to offer forgiveness, give forgiveness, reunite, and let's just move into calmer waters, be at peace with each other. That's how you're feeling, Leo. So you're trying to put this person in the friend zone, but they, mm-mm. They want, they want a second chance. They want to do this all over again. Yep. So, that's going to be the challenge now. We move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the death card. And it's with the page of wands. Now, the death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It's also considered irresponsible. For readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're simply not written in stone. Yep, this card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations. And people that you've kind of known or have gotten used to, they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now, the transition, it can be very, very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. Now, it's with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, they can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's important to try to stay focused. Maybe some things that you started some time ago, they could start to come to life, start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. Because the page brings a really positive energy. But because of the... Because of them having a hard time staying focused, energy of easy distraction, you're going to have to supply the follow through. So, your outcome Leo death card clarified by the page of wands. So, yeah, you've come to a conclusion. 
Your person can't convince you to do this all over again, to get anything else started. Yeah, you come to a conclusion. You want finality. Yeah, you've re you probably realize that you're not the same person that you were when you two first met. And you probably realize that they're not either. There's some type of deep transformation you're recognizing. And you just don't see it would be a good mix or things would just be... You feel like things might just go, go down the drain again. You're not who you once were when they first met you. Yeah, they could be thinking you're the same person. But you've changed, you're different. So, with the Page of Wands here, yeah, it looks like they still might try. They'll still be calling you just to see if you had a change of heart or a change of mind. Because this Page of Wands can be about messages of love, messages of affection coming your way. So, yeah, they're not going to give up easy. Yeah, but you've come to a conclusion that it needs to end. So, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, also, keep in mind that for these readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them, and they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So, you have to take the readings for however it, how, how, however it resonates, um, because these are just general readings, they're not personal readings. So Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care. Next reading, and take care. Next reading, and take care.